How's it going guys? Thanks for joining me today here on Cherry Creek. Now I'm going to ask you a question. What's the most important gear item for a duck hunter? I mean you can say gun, decoys, shells, calls, clothing, uh, but probably arguably the most important item for a duck hunter is waders. This is my fifth season duck hunting and I've gone through a lot of waders in five seasons. I started off with some Cabela's neoprene. These are not the ones I started off with, but these are a pair that I keep for guest use. Uh, I did wear them a couple weeks ago and I put a massive hole in the knee. Just ripped a huge hole. I've gone through multiple pairs of Cabela's neoprene waders. My first pair of Cabela's neoprene waders, I think I put 52 holes in them the first season. I've also worn banded waders, and I will say these are the insulated, uh, breathable banded waders, and they are super warm. I love them for that. I think these are the Red Zone 2s, which they've got a two-year warranty, which is nice, because a guy like me, I'm never not gonna wear them out in two years, and there's probably gonna be some defect, and, I, and I've had, had, had that with these banded waders. This is actually the third pair that they've sent me from defects. That brings me to my question. What do you guys like to use? I've been needing to make a switch for waders. I wasn't sure what to do. Most waders are like 300 bucks, right? It's like, dang, that's a big investment. Like having these issues, that just didn't seem to cut it. So I'm like, do I go with Sitka? Not really a Sitka guy. <laughs> they're so expensive um, and they're gonna fail. But then I realized my friend Jake from Chasing Green, he wears high and dry. And my friend Joel from Surviving Duck Season, they both wear high and dry. And I was kind of was interested in trying them, so I talked to those guys. Super high reviews. Um, did looked at their website, and Brian, the owner of High and Dry, his story is pretty cool. He's from the East Coast of Virginia, and he's in waders every day as part of uh, his business growing up. His story is tearing holes in waders all the time, needing something that worked, and so he just made it. So that brings me to something I just bought. These high and dries. I decided to take Jake and Joel's word uh, on these waders that they were high quality and try these high and dries out. I know Jake has put like 40 miles on his last season and I'm really hard on them, shoot. My goal for these waders is to test them out this season and then at the end of the season, kind of do a review on them and see how they're doing. These are them, they came in this pretty sweet bag. It's funny, even in the box, it tells me, hey, I, I guess I made the right decision. <laughs> I'm really excited to try these. I'm gonna put them through the ringer and I will let you guys know at the end of the season how they do. There's a couple things I wanted to mention about these waders. The boot has a really athletic feel to it. The material just feels really tough. The boot feels like it's really rugged. I'm just out here doing some scout, scout with Elliot today. Right here walking around. These tall lotus pads. And to get here we had to walk through a bunch of brush. So another thing I like about these is this pad that they've got, you know, to minimize the amount of damage you're gonna get walking through thick stuff. There's a couple things that I like about these high and dry waders. Let me send us off, Father. Thanks for blessing me with these waders. Lord, I pray that they would work out for me this season, that I wouldn't get any holes. Please protect them. And I'm duck hunting this season. Lord, I pray for all my friends um, in the duck hunting community. Lord, I pray they would stay steadfast in the faith, Lord, and just give you glory in everything that they do and that I do. In your son's name, amen. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.